it wasn't so much what what, what went through my mind. It was a it's a uh, it was a visceral reaction. Um, you can imagine if if someone got if there were a, 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 a Nazi march down Georgia. Uh, and and somebody got killed right there where you had been like a place you were familiar with your entire life that was not that kind of a place um it, it was horrific all of that everything that happened uh, was was six blocks from where i went to church as a kid it's four blocks from where i was in the boy scouts um uh, as a kid it, it was a mile off uh, one block off the charlottesville 10 mile running route uh that i had done a couple of hundred times uh <sighs> All the, we see violence on TV all the time, but when it happens in your hometown um, and when it's this symbolically loaded, it's it's horrific. I think part of the issue is not to think of this as a southern issue. In this case, um, most of the organizer, most of the organizers of the march are coming from out of state. Um, on the other hand, some of the organizers are University of Virginia alumni, like Richard Spencer, the neo-Nazi. When we think of the United States, we tend to think of, of racial con we tend to associate racial conflict with the U.S. South, and that's almost always a mistake. Um, uh, when Rodney King got beaten in Los Angeles uh, some time ago, uh, shortly thereafter, you had movies about you know Mississippi burning. Um, no one wants to, and that's not my point. That's from a famous scholar named Houston Baker. But um, no one wants to talk about racism as a national phenomenon. I would say that Charlottesville is part of the U.S. So. We are not in a post-racial society, um, and Charlottesville isn't either. But it's not because it's part of Virginia. In fact, Virginia is like the one blue state among southern states now. Charlottesville got singled out because it's imagined, because it's a university town, as progressive. And uh, neo-Nazis don't like that. But one reason we're in this mess is because history was taught badly in the United States for close to a century about the causes of the Civil War. Um, no respectable historian now would say the Civil War was not about slavery. Absolutely no one. Um, uh, the, the removal of Confederate monuments is a sign of the nation finally grappling with its own history and understanding that the South, uh, the, 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 the Confederacy, was about slavery. That was what the Civil War was about. But you have so two groups resisting that, one saying um, it wasn't about slavery, and then you have the white supremacists actually saying, yeah, it was, and that was a pretty good thing. And that's the political situation we're in right now. In in Canada, uh, if you have groups um, that are, if you have First Nations groups saying, own up to the history of settler colonialism, if you have Asian Canadians saying, you need to own up to anti-Asian racism uh, in Vancouver, in Metro Van in particular, um, you need to listen to those folks because that is your history. It's not that they're being self-interested, they're trying to correct their record uh, to a history that was taught badly.